Hi, I'm Jeff Hendricks, sixth grade teacher here at Chapel Glen Elementary. I'm here with local celebrity and lead science teacher at Wayne Township, Mr. Rick Croslin. This week we are studying the difference between the inner and outer planets. Hey, thanks for that introduction. I'm here at Chapel Glen, where these students for the last couple weeks have been studying the solar system, the sun, the moon, eclipses, tides, all sorts of things, including what is the difference between the inner and the outer planets. And they've come up with some pretty good demonstrations and some travel brochures. So let's meet a few of these students as they pitch the best place for you to go on your next vacation. Check this out. We have here with us Hannah. She has created a travel brochure for the planet of? Mars. She's going to give us some fun facts about Mars. This is a Mars brochure. It has some fun facts and fun things that, and new discoveries you can make on Mars. So what would be something that I could do on Mars? Uh, you can explore new sites of um, craters and moons. Sounds like a lot of fun. After we were Mars for a little while, we decided to travel someplace else. So I looked to Reagan for her information on Uranus. Tell us a little about it. About it. Um. So what you can do on Uranus is you can explore the craters and you can look down at the Earth with a telescope. Also, you can fly around with no gravity, since there is no gravity on Uranus. Actually, Reagan, Uranus is a gas planet. You wouldn't really be able to stand on it, but it does have gravity. <laughs> I'm here with Marie, who's got some really good information about Jupiter. Marie? Um, Jup that Jupiter spot is a storm, and it's been around since, since 400 years. Jupiter's got a storm going on for 400 years? Wow, that would be a lot of rain. How big is it? It's bigger than the Earth could fit the storm. Storm. That's a big storm. I'm here with Unique, who's going to tell us something really far out. <laughs> Neptune winds are as strong as a hurricane. Imagine a hurricane winds go up to 2,000 miles per hour. Wow, hurricane force winds on a planet? Unbelievable. And I'm here with Isau, who's going to tell me a little bit about Venus and maybe why I wouldn't want to travel there. Why wouldn't I want to go to Venus? Because it's got a bad atmosphere and, 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 it, and it is also visible from the, our Earth sky. It is visible from the Earth sky. Why would I not want to breathe on Venus? Because... Uh, because it has no oxygen. And it's filled with <laughs> acid. <laughs> and I'm here with Andrew, who did a little bit of research about Saturn. Tell us about the rings on Saturn, Andrew. Well, Saturn and Saturn's rings are made out of ice, dust, and rocks. That you can fly practically through it. So it made it really difficult to get to Saturn if they were close together. However, they're spread far apart, so I can make it to the planet very easily. And with that, we're finished with our tour of the planets. If you'd like to know more about the planets, check it out in your Chromebook. When traveling to other planets, though, you must beware there's possible alien life. Ah!